Good morning students and welcome to an another class of immunology dealing with antibody or immunoglobulins their structure functions and type antibodies and antibody are actually the glycoproteins uh, formed in re response to an antigen and they react specifically with that antigen and they are collectively known as immunoglobulins and and they are uh, abbreviated in the form of capital i and a small g okay so actually an antibody is defined as protein that is produced by beta lymphocytes these antibodies are produced by beta uh, lymphocyte in response to the presence of an antigen antigen we have already studied that it is the foreign particle that is entering into our body it may be bacteria virus um, uh, or fungi or any type or it may be uh, um, uh, the, um, any endogenous antigens are also present that is that are the antigens derived from the body so different types of antigens you have studied or they are the specific substance that can induce a specific immune response so in in response to this a proteinaceous substances are produced by the beta lymphocytes and they are collectively known as immunoglobulins another name of immunoglobulin is antibody immunoglobulin form 20% of the total plasma proteins and uh, antibodies enter almost all the tissues of the body and they are found in serum body fluid tissues etc and these antibodies are produced by vertebrates only okay uh, vertebrates only and they are synthesized by the beta lymphocytes and secreted by plasma cells then structure of antibody the structure of antibody was discovered by Rodney R. Porter and Gerald Edelman in 1962. All antibodies have common basic structure. Each antibody molecule consists of four polypeptide chains, two small cell light chain and two longer cell heavy chain. So the antibodies are represented as H2L2. And each polypeptide chain contains an amino terminal and carboxy terminal, and they are linked by disulfide bond. And light chain have molecular weight of 20 to 25 kD. The central region of heavy chain is called hinge region, and it is rich in proline, amino acid proline. And proline prevents the peptide chain from assuming an alpha helix con conformation. Uh, so this is the structure of the uh, an antibody. Now it has a paratype site that is the antigen binding site. Epitope is, epitope is the, um, the antigen uh, antibody binding site. So with the help of paratite and antibody will bind with antigen. With the help of epitope antigen will bind with antibody. Okay. Now this portion is the limb portion and this is the stock region. So as I had mentioned earlier, it has two light chain and two heavy chain. Two light chain and two heavy chain are present. To say more about it, so this is the uh, uh, structure or the model proposed by Rodney Porter. It has two light chain and two heavy chain. Then it has um, uh, amino terminal group and the carboxy terminal group and heavy chain, two heavy chain are uh, connected with the help of two disulfide bone and heavy chain and light chain are connected with the help of single disulfide bone. Okay, single, uh, uh, then the constant region and the variable region are also present. So it is actually a Y-shaped structure. So it contains two regions, constant region or C region and variable region or V region. In the constant region, the amino acid sequence remains constant. And in variable region, 
the amino acid sequence show variability. So the name variable region. Okay. Now the constant region is located at the base of the stalk of Y. Actually in the C terminal region. And uh, it is formed of light chain and the heavy chain. Light as well as heavy chain are present in the constant region. And uh, the terminal uh, half of constant region, uh, terminal half is made up of only uh, carbox, uh, this uh, heavy chain only. And regarding the variable region, um, it is uh, located at the extremity of the limbs of Y in the end terminal end of the antigen. And variable region is formed of both light and heavy chain. So both are made up of light and heavy chain. But in case of constant region, the uh, terminal half is made up of only heavy chain only. Okay. Then regarding the disulfide bone. Uh, the disulfide bond is an important feature. Uh, actually, four chains are interconnected by means of interchain uh, disulfide bonds. And two heavy chains are linked by 1 to or 13 interchain disulfide bond. And each light chain is uh, linked by uh, two heavy chain with the help of uh, single interchain disulfide bond. So, depending upon the immunoglobulin, that is antibodies are of various classes. And depending upon the uh, immunoglobulin, the number of disulfide bond between the heavy chain varies from 1 to 30. And uh, the number of uh, uh, disulfide bond between light chain and heavy chain is always um, 1. Okay. And the light chain has to interchain disulfide bone and heavy chain has four interchain disulfide bone. So this is about the um, disulfide bones. Then besides this uh, regarding the uh, chemical nature, this uh, immunoglobulins are made up of uh, glycoproteins and it is uh, made up of uh, two pairs of polypeptide pa uh, chains and each polypeptide chain is made up of linear sequence of amino acids and some amino acids are attached to sugar chains and uh, that is why uh, the immunoglobulins are called glycoproteins. When light chain, uh, two light chains are present, they are shorter and they are identical to each other. And each light chain is made up of nearly 214 amino acids. And based on the structure and the amino acid sequence, light chain are grouped into two types, kappa and the lambda. And this kappa uh, contains, uh, kappa type contains kappa chain and lambda uh, type contains lambda chains and nearly 60 percentage of the serum immunoglobulin molecules are kappa type and only 40 percentage are lambda type. Then heavy chains, heavy chains, um, two heavy chains are there, they are longer and they are called H chains, heavy chains are called H chains and they are identical. And they are made up of nearly 450 to 700 amino acids. And they are, uh, they have a flexible region at the uh, uh, center and they are known as hinge. And they are of five types, gamma, alpha, uh, mu, uh, and mu, delta, epsilon. These are the different types of immunoglobulins based on um, heavy chains. We will see, deal with each one of it. Okay. Uh, as I had mentioned earlier, variable and constant region are there. That is, uh, the light and uh, heavy chains are further divided into variable and constant region. These regions are composed of three uh, defaulted repeating segments called domains. And the domains are present and each domain contains 110 amino acids and the variable region concerned with antigen binding and constant region concerned with variable biological function. 
So antigen will bind with the variable region and the biological function of the antibodies are carried out by the constant region. And the light chain consists of one variable and one constant region. Heavy chain consists of one variable and three constant regions. Then besides this, hypervariability region or CDR are also present. The variable region of both light and height chain contain, heavy chain contain three variable loops for binding antigen. And these binding sites are known as CDR or complementary determining region. And this region, CDR, determines the specificity and affinity of the antigen. So a specific antigen can bind with only a specific antibody. And this specificity is determined by the hypervariability region. They are nothing but the variable region of both light and heavy chain. And they contain three variable loops for binding antigen. And this antigen binding sites are called the CDR. Now, immunoglobulins are classified, as I had already mentioned, the light chain have two uh, types, kappa and a lam lambda type. Okay, uh, so based upon this, kappa light chain and lambda light chain are there. And uh, the heavy chains are, are of various type. They are identical, they are longer uh, and it includes um, gamma type, uh, mu type, delta type, alpha type and epsilon type. And depending upon the uh, type of uh, heavy chain, the uh, immunoglobulins are further classified into immunoglobulin G, immunoglobulin M, immunoglobulin D, immunoglobulin A and immunoglobulin E. So, these are the five classification of immunoglobulin. So, this is the structure of different type. That is immunoglobulin G, D, E. This is the structure of immunoglobulin G, D, E. They are monomeric, single type. So, monomeric. Immunoglobulin A. Immunoglobulin A may be monomeric or dimeric. Two are present. Okay. Monomeric. It may either exist in monomeric form or dimeric form. Immunoglobulin, uh, immunoglobulin M is pendameric. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pendameric. So, these are the structure of immunoglobulin G, D, E, A and M. So, first one is immunoglobulin G or uh, abbreviated as IgG. So, this is the structure of immunoglobulin. It has antigen, uh, immunoglobulin G, it has antigen binding site. This is the variable site and this is the constant site. It has both light chain, two light chain and two heavy chain. That is, they are made up of four polypeptide chain. Then it is the most abundant classes of immunoglobulin and they, uh, the percentage is nearly 75 to 80 percentage of the total antibodies. And their half-life uh, is about 7 to 23 days. So, whenever this immunoglobulin G are produced, it will be there in our body for 7 to 23 days. And it is uh, composed of Y-shaped unit and it is a monomeric type. And it is the only immunoglobulin that can cross the placenta and transfer the mother's immunity to developing fetus. And they can serve as opposing and promote chemos, uh, chemostatic activity of W. BCs. So the function includes the it is the immunoglobulin that is providing immunity to a newborn baby and it uh, helps in the neutralization of the toxin that enter into our body or whenever toxins are produced in our body and they bind to FC receptor by phagocytosis. Next is immunoglobulin A. And uh, this is the structure of immunoglobulin A. It exists in monomeric or dimeric form. Okay. Um, so it occurs as single or double unit held by J chain. And they are uh, both are held by a J chain. It is most commonly found in body secretions such as saliva, tears, sweat, 
milk and walls of intestine. So the saliva that are produced in our body, the tears of our body, uh, uh, of our eyes contain this immunoglobulin. And the half-life of it is approximately five days. And it is the most predominant antibody in the colostrum, the initial secretion from the mother's breast with bacterial antigen present on the body suffers and removes them. In this way, immunoglobulin A pre uh, presents the, um, the foreign substance from entering, sorry, prevents the foreign substances entering uh, the body cells. So the main uh, function of this immunoglobulin A is the, uh, it is the secretory ant antibody and they are produced where they are produced in the colostrum of the mother, the first mm, milk that is uh, the baby is having after the birth. It uh, contains the immunoglobulin A and they are effective against the viruses that causing influenza and they are helpful in uh, protection to infant gut. Okay, and they have a half-life uh, of approximately five days. And this is the structure. It has the, uh, it contains uh, double unit. Sometimes they exist as single unit. That is monomeric form. Next is immunoglobulin M. And this is considered as the largest immunoglobulin. And it con consists of five Y-shaped uh, unit. That is pentameric. And they are held with the help of a J chain. They are held with the help of J chain. And due to its large size, they cannot uh, transverse blood cells. Hence, it is restricted to the blood streams. And they have the half-life of about 5 days. And they make up approximately 13% of the serum antibodies. And it is the first antibody that is to be produced in response to an antigen and is most effective against evading microorganisms. So whenever an anti antigen enters into our body, the first antibody to be produced is immunoglobulin M. And it may be noted that immunoglobulin M can simultaneously combine with five antigenic sites due to its pentameric structure, whereas the, the remaining four Besides uh, immunoglobulin A, all are three uh, of the uh, immunoglobulins are monomeric and they can bind only to one antigenic site. But immunoglobulin A, uh, sorry, M can bind to five antigenic site and immunoglobulin A can bind to two antigenic site. So the functions includes activation of the classical pathway. Why? Because they are the first antibody to be produced in response to an antigen and they are defensive against multivalent antigen because of the pentameric structure and they act as opsonin. Immunoglobulin D. It is composed of single Y-shaped unit and is present in low concentration in the circulation, blood circulation. And it makes up nearly only 0.2% of the serum antibodies. And they are present on surface of B cells and the, uh, their function is not clearly known. And some believes that it may function as B cell receptor. And when immunoglobulin D interacts with an antigen, antibody complex is formed. And it interlines the process and presented via MHC1. Major histocompatibility 2, sorry, not 1, 2 molecule in order to help T cells for the destruction and removal of the body. We will deal with MHC, major histocompatibility complex in detail in the coming class and regarding the activity of it in detail. Okay, so just you understand that the immunoglobulin D is responsible for the uh, internalized process and presentation of this antigen antibody complex with the help of MHC2 molecules. So the main function is the beta cell activation and uh, it also acts as the receptor for antigen binding uh, in order to form antigen antibody complex. So this immunoglobulin D is considered uh, it, uh, as the, the main function of it is not clearly known and it is uh, presenting in the 
um, very low concentration in the blood circulation. And uh, uh, next one is immunoglobulin E. It is also a monomeric type uh, Y-shaped uh, antibody and it is normally present in minute concentration in blood and it, its levels are eva elevated in individuals with allergies at, as it is associated with body's allergic responses. So whenever allergy or hypersensitivity are produced, uh, the, the first immunoglobulin that is to be formed as the immunoglobulin E. And Heat, it is heat liable skin sensitizing antibody so they are also known as reagents. So the functions includes immediate uh, response uh, after hypersensitivity or the allergic process and it binds to FC receptor on basophils and master cells. Then it release it helps in the release of substance like histamine vasoactive mediators. So these are the functions of immunoglobulin. So this is about antibodies or immunoglobulins. So they are nothing but they are the proteins produced in response to antigen and into our body. And they are made up of four polypeptide chain, two light chain and two heavy chain. And depending upon the nature of the heavy chain, this immunoglobulins are further classified into five different types. Immunoglobulin A, immunoglobulin D, immunoglobulin E, immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin M. Of this, uh, G, D, E are monomeric type. A is maybe either monomeric or dimeric type and M is the pentameric type. Okay. So, these are the uh, function of uh, this uh, immunoglobulin. And light chain are of two types, kappa and the lambda type. And they are shorter when compared to the heavy chain. So, this is about immuno globulin and besides this hyper uh, uh, regarding various regions there is region called cdr uh, which is the antigen binding site and besides this there are variable and constant region in the variable region the amino acid will change and in constant region the amino acid is remaining constant and uh, domains are the region the globular region um, and they are helping, uh, they are formed by the folding of the chain and in folding the chain is connected by interchain disulfide, uh, chain, disulfide bone and the num number of disulfide bone varies between the heavy chain and the uh, light chain. And the antigen binding site is known as the para site. So this is about uh, antigen, sorry, antibody, the structure and their functions. Thank you very much.